Chuseok, one of Korea's biggest holidays, is just over a month away on September 19th, and households are already thinking ahead, preparing gifts for family and friends. In response to the sluggish economy, local retail chains are slashing prices to attract customers and ensure higher sales. Our Paul Yi shows us the latest consumer trends hitting local markets. Operations here at a gift set packaging plant in Incheon are in full swing, with employees gearing up for one of the busiest retail seasons ahead of the Chuseok holiday. The factory plant has been running non stop since last month, as more than half of Korea's annually produced cooking oil is expected to be sold through holiday gift sets this year. Major retail chains are already showcasing this year's line of Korean Thanksgiving gifts on store shelves. However, due to tough economic times, consumer tastes have shifted toward more frugal and practical gift ideas. Since the cost of goods has gone up, I'm thinking of getting medium to low-priced household items. Things like toothpaste or cooling oil are what I have in mind right now. Higher food prices and fierce competition resulted in lower than expected sales numbers last year among retailers. It's prompted many local companies to shift their pricing strategy in order to hit the 20 to 30 dollar sweet spot on the majority of their gift sets. In particular, gift sets with apples and pears will see a price drop of up to 20 percent compared to last year. Popular products such as hanu or Korean beef will also benefit from a price cut of up to 10 percent. The price of other traditional gifts such as dried yellow corvina and anchovies will remain unchanged on year as an outbreak of red tide has devastated local fish stocks. Meanwhile, products with mushrooms and mixed nuts will see a sharp price hike. The Korean market size for Chuseok gift sets is expected to be worth nearly 448 million U.S. dollars, with an optimistic growth forecast this year as retailers adjust their product offerings to reflect the prolonged economic slowdown. Paul Yi, Arirang News.